this whole they're going to be the worst team in football thing is not going to last for long. No. The NFL is about hitting the bottom of the pool and then springing right back up. Look at what Jacksonville did last year. You get to the playoffs. You win a playoff game. Uh, they were the worst team in their division the year prior. They spent a lot of money in, in free agency, and they hit on some draft picks. And obviously, the quarterback developed and took it to a new level. That's what we're looking at here with the Bears is that they may not be competing for a championship, but the moves that Ryan Poles made in the first 24 hours of free agency, Tremaine Edmonds, that's not a move you make if you're not ready to start winning in the next year or two. And he's 24 now and he's will young. be 25 during the season. And it's he's a, lot of cash. a foundation player. He was a right. captain of that team, right. of a winning team. Right. Nate Davis won with Tennessee for many years. Um it, like they're they're getting TJ guys for TJ coming wait, wait, from wait. a very good Eagles defense. Yeah, he was a leading tackler on a team that represented the NFC in the Super Bowl. So again, like I I, I like what they're doing, and they're all in the prime. They're not old. They're not um, guys who are thirty years old and getting overpaid who may have played their best football already. Like again, the 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 hope is that Edmonds and again Eberflus is the guy who has developed that position well and knows how how he wants them to play that he could get Edmonds best football out of him do you know like I read an article uh Pace was in between Roquan and Edmonds in that draft sure and decided on Roquan so they were looking at Edmonds to begin with they came out in the same draft I remember that yeah, yeah. so um this is the way and, and Waddle hit on this a lot yesterday. He's a longer, more athletic type of linebacker than Roquan is. Doesn't mean he's a better player, but that's what Eberflus likes that type of player to be. Coverage guys. Yeah. And, and, and he's just, he, he's much longer. Like he had a comp to, to Erlacher when he was coming out of the draft, that type of body. So let, let's see. I love, and, and what you were saying, Black, earlier, mm -hmm. I'm not putting any sort of restrictions on win totals. Like I don't expect them to win 12 or no. go to the postseason. But like, if you say, Hey, nine, uh, like, I'm not going to tell you you're crazy. I'm not going to shout you down over any sort of progress because who knows with when they catch teams, you mentioned injuries earlier. And if Justin Fields does improve because of what's around him, if you believe in fields, there could be significant improvement this year. You know, look at the way the division could shake out too. Uh, do you really trust Minnesota as a team getting necessarily better? They've lost a couple of pieces off their defense here in the first couple of hours of free agency in the last day. The Lions have all of the offseason hype. Everyone thinks the Lions are going to the Super Bowl. I think that's crazy. Uh, to take that next jump and to all of a sudden become the, the one that's out there hunting uh, or being the one hunted, I think it's a tough way to go when you're the underdog team and at the end of the season you put a run together i don't think that always necessarily translates to the next season especially when jared goff is your quarterback mm -hmm. uh and his numbers are so different from road and home so you don't know how that's gonna kind of uh play out and, and then, then all the rogers drama yeah if aaron Rodgers retires or leaves the division now all of a sudden the bears are not going to be the worst team in the division i i think that is something i'm confident in that That's Green a good Bay, poll question. Will Green the Bay Bears will be the worst team in the division? Yeah, it, it will be. And and the Lions may be the best. The Vikings and the Bears will be right behind. And then the Vi the Bear the Packers will be last. But I think the whole division, there's no one in the division that's winning 13, 12 games, like you said. It's all teams that are in that 9-10 win range. And they're all trying to get to that next plateau of the best teams in the league going to the Super Bowl. And like that's also when you look around the conference, you have Philadelphia, you have San Francisco. Who else scares you? No one from the South. Derek no, Carr with the South Saints. Stinks. No, no one in the South. And Tampa Bay doesn't have a quarterback anymore, right? So you look at the South. No, you look at the East. Yeah, it's it's Philadelphia. The Giants. Can they repeat what they did? They still have uh, Daniel Jones at quarterback. And then you have the Cowboys, which each and every year, and they're down. the best team in the offseason. They're, they're America's team. And then they disappoint once we get into the year. And, and so you look around the, the NFC, and it's not like the, the conference is so daunting that the Bears can't compete I with know. teams. I know. The NFC is 